Here we can see what the role play simulation looks like raw. In front of us we can see the shared action viewer where we can get a heads up display of any messages that are coming from other worlds. Below we can see a control panel where we can control the role play, set highlights and also indicate when the video has started. Now we can see a role play deployed. Things appear in the world and the moderator's panel is updated. We can see we've been joined by two of the users. Let's take them around the elements of the world. First of all, there's a board displaying the role play and what stage we're at. I'm joined by user 2 and this is the view that user 2 sees. She can see me, the moderator, and as I move off to the right, she can follow me. Here we can see a description of the roleplay simulation, along with some links that the user can click on, giving them some more information as background to the simulation. I'll now walk over to the statement panel that sets up the roleplay simulation with a brief statement describing what the simulation is all about. I'll get the roleplay simulation going by clicking on the icebreaker vote button. This is what the user sees. The carpet is deployed along with the questions for the poll for the icebreaker vote. The user can then move on to the carpet. Please note the fact that there's a timer running so that the moderator knows when to stop the icebreaker vote. Now the user can vote. This is the view the moderator sees with the two users having voted on the carpet. The moderator can see the timer running down as can the users. When the moderator is ready, he can set the next stage running. And this next stage is to view the results of the icebreaker and there you can see them displayed available for everyone to see. The next stage is for the moderator to assign roles. Here he can see which users are logged in and he can assign the roles to either pessimist or optimist and then click on OK. The user is sent a text message telling her which role she has been assigned. She's also told to select an item from the place marks menu. This takes her to a description of her role, which she can read before participating further in the role play simulation. As a moderator, I can move over to the positions where the users are now located. Then I can set the next stage running to prepare statements. A new element has appeared in the world which the user can move towards and select and interact with. First of all the user selects from the right hand menu best view so it puts it in the best position in the client display window. By closing the list of users the user gets a better view of the post-it board on which to add some statements. A pop-up window appears for the user to add a summary sentence for a statement. Below that some more details about the statement that she wishes to add about the topic. When she's completed editing her statement and the summary, she clicks OK and it's added to the window for others to see. The moderator likewise should select Best View from the right hand menu and is then able to move the statements around in this case it's a statement that the user just made who's taking the role of an optimist. Other users can add statements in their own time. So for example the user taking the role of the pessimist may add a statement of their own which will also appear on the post-it board. Here we can see our user adding another statement. First of all she creates a summary sentence and then adds a statement. When she's completed editing she clicks on OK. Here we see appear in world and then moved by the moderator. When the users have created enough statements, I can then move them onto the next step, which is to read their statements. Then, when they've done that, they can mark and group them. The display of the statements changes somewhat, so the user can now assign a mark to each statement he or she believes is important. Similarly, other users can make marks, and those marks are reflected in the display. 
The moderator can move on to the final vote once the users have completed marking and grouping their statements. The user is given a message that they're now at the final vote stage, so she controls her avatar and moves off towards the carpet for that final vote. As a moderator, I follow her to make sure that the users participate in the vote and to keep an eye on the timer as it starts to run down. When the users have finished voting, or when the time has run out, I end the simulation. This adds one last element to the world, which is the results of the final vote. This is visible to everyone who is participating.